Motors. It's Entertainment Schmig. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motors, the luxury car center of the universe. Kanye's Grammy controversy providing tons of fodder for late night talk show hosts. Here's Conan and Kimmel from last night. At the Grammys, Kanye West jumped on stage and interrupted when Album of the Year was announced. Yeah. Which, of course, means six more weeks of winter. <laughs> and you have to feel for Beg. I mean, you remember the last time Kanye did this was to Taylor Swift, and her career never recovered. I mean, what even happened? <laughs> it's so true. And a lot of people coming to Beck's defense. I'll get to that in just a minute. There is a gif floating around the interwebs about Beyonce and Jay-Z at the moment that Kanye rushes the stage, their reaction to Kanye trying to steal the mic from Beck. And the look on Jay-Z's face is like, what? Oh, this is happening, happening. again. Mm -hmm. And you see Beyonce, you can't hear anything, but you see her mouthing, no, Kanye, no! <laughs> and I know people think it's funny, but they should really say something to him. Because right. they're all artists. Yeah. It's I not acceptable did. for them to kind of giggle about it. I have a feeling that, well, I have a feeling that they said something to him in private, but I think they laughed just like everyone else laughed watching the Grammys because then you see yes. this moment where they're like, oh, he was just playing. I thought he was just playing too, and it was kind of funny, a little endearing, like he's learned. Yeah. Like we said yesterday, he's learned from his past mistakes. But as we know, he went on this big rant saying that Beck needs to respect artistry. And there were a bunch of rebuttals yesterday with people saying, no, you need to respect Beck's artistry. He put out a beautiful album. That's why it was nominated for Album of the Year. Um, Shirley Manson from Garbage wrote this great open letter to Kanye saying, um, it is you who is busy disrespecting artistry. You disrespect your own remarkable talents, and more importantly, you disrespect the talent, hard work, and tenacity of all artists when you go so rudely and savagely after such an accomplished and humble artist like Beck. And she went on and on saying that he looks small and petty and spoilt. I like She's that. British, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're spoiled. <laughs> she said, I'm pretty sure Beyonce doesn't need you fighting any battles on her account. Seems like she's got everything covered perfectly well on her own. And, you know, in backstage, she was holding her three Grammys. She's perfectly happy with what she won. She's won more Grammys than any other female artist. I think she's doing okay. By the way, Beck doing okay. He um, had the lowest selling Grammy album of the year. Um, as far as the winner is concerned, since 2008, when Herbie Hancock won, he's only sold about 300,000 copies of his album, but he's been getting all sorts of action since the, I wouldn't be surprised if his album sales shoot way up, not only because people want to check out the winner of album of the year, but because it's like they want to stick it to Kanye. But you know what? Either way it goes, Kanye will come out and say, well, you know, look what I did for Beck. You know, oh, sure. I launched his career again or mm, totally, uh, you know. And he's getting exactly what he wants. You know, we're talking about him. The I nation's know. talking about him. And then, you know, he won't be on the Grammys for another five years. And then they're going to, you know, highlight him again. Yeah. It's like, you can't win with this guy. Be, uh, Beck took the high road. He said, um, he said, absolutely. Kanye's bigger than me. He said, oh. I yeah. thought Beyonce he was going to. me. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I thought Beyonce was going to win. You can't please everybody. I still love Kanye and think he's a genius. I aspire uh, to what he does. How many great records has he put out in the last five years, right? He is, you know, a lot of people use the word genius with Kanye. Like mad. I don't see it. I don't either. Genius. genius to people that think that's genius. Right. right. But just like music is up to interpretation. You like what you like and you respect the artist that you love. Mm -hmm. and you can't take that away from a person like Beck. By the way, Paul Stanley from KISS on his Facebook page wrote, Beck should have kicked Kanye right in the nuts last night and said, get the bleep off my stage. Thanks, Paul. Uh, <laughs> enjoy that uh, that show down in Branson this summer. <laughs> you know, they all come out of the woodwork, right? He's painting now, guy. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. nice. Paul Is Stanley, really? yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. What, his boots? No. <laughs> For another show? It's an artiste. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Rosie O'Donnell, we talked yesterday about how she left The View. Well, I guess leaving The View because she's leaving on Thursday. So a lot of people tuned into The View yesterday to see what she had to say about the whole thing. Nothing. Not even, they didn't even bring it up. 
But she did go and post a YouTube video explaining her leaving The View. People are asking, why didn't we talk about my leaving The View today on The View? I didn't want to talk about it. I spoke about it during the press line on Friday night. I spoke about all the reasons, so you can Google you know, why Rosie's leaving The View. Why Rosie's leaving The View. <laughs> Go ball. I'll tell you. I, I know why they're breaking up, though, is because, you know, her wife woke up one morning and went, I am married to that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when she signed back onto The View and it's like, a kindler, gentler Rosie. Whatever. Much like no. Kanye, it's the same crazy yeah. repackaged. I mean, she, I don't know. She thinks she acts like she's found happiness and her life has yes, changed. Yeah. I had a heart attack. I've reevaluated reevaluated everything. No. It's like all It's the like same. annoying too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why I left the view. <laughs> There's apparently um, a big offer on the table for Angelina Jolie. Marvel has offered her twenty million dollars to direct its upcoming Captain Marvel movie. I mentioned it at the very end of Schmig because now Kevin really doesn't have a chance to respond. Yes, and remember <laughs> <laughs> that's entertainment Schmig. More at eight.